Hello, I am Vishal Parikh. Today we will explore more on visualizing the data. So in particular, we are going to cover the topics today are how we can plot time series, how we can represent time on axis and how we can plot trends over a particular time. So let us first start with plotting time series. So as we know, when we view most of the data, we see there is an instance of time consider any of the data that are existing the time plays a crucial role over there so whenever we want to plot a time series we require different modules that are available in python one of them is date time so whenever we want to plot a time series we have to import a module that is time series so we will see how we can work with data that is related to time Next we are going to see is how we can represent time on axis. So many times we need to present the data or the time. So consider a case of visualization where a company organization requires to show a particular scenario. For example, there is a sales of a particular product and the company wants to determine on which particular time interval the data cell was high what particular time interval was the revenue high and to determine many other factors time plays a crucial role so now the data could come from many different forms that are available it can come either from database it can come from a text file it can come from a csv file but generally what we do we have some specific time tick that is followed one after another so what it will do that will describe what a particular event is happening at that particular time so we can also represent this it on axis next we will see is how we can plot trend over a particular time as we know if we want to determine in which particular direction our data is going so we don't have any direct approach that can relate us or it can show us in which particular direction our data is going so it is possible to represent or to show a trend line inside our output it is possible with the help of a particular line and that will determine in which particular direction your particular data is moving or in which particular direction your data is heading towards a particular approach so in this programming approach we will try to cover how we can plot this and how we can show trends over a particular time now let us work how we can represent time on a particular axis so first what we need to do so for that first we need to import the required libraries for plotting a particular time on an axis so first i am using a library that is pandas then I have imported matplotlib.pyplotsplt then I am using numpy and I am working with date time that is so I am importing a package that is date time as dt and I am using a matplotlib inline as a magic function so let us run this now what we are trying to do we are trying to plot time on a particular axis so for that first we need to have start time so how we can decide a start time so for that there is a module that is date time so i am having its reference object as dt and inside this there is a function which is named as date time and here i have to specify the date in a particular format that is first i have specify the year then month and then a particular date similarly i have considered end date so how i can work with end date so again i am using a function that is date time inside this i am specifying again year month and date so what i have done just i have assigned a variable and it is storing the starting date again i have taken another variable that is end date it is storing the end date now what i am doing i am generating a range of dates that means i want to generate the number of dates that is between this two particular interval so how can we do that so for that again pandas library provide us a function which is named as date underscore range and inside this we need to pass two different arguments that is first is your starting date and second is your end date now what i want to do thus we have created is 
a range or a sequence of dates we are having now let us try to assign some of the cells that means some particular product has been sold and i need to assign how many total number of products has been sold on that particular date so for that what i am doing i am using numpy library inside this i am generating some of the random numbers up to where up to the length of my date range suppose if it is taking 20 for example the total number of dates are 20 so it will generate 20 random cells value at that particular time and i am assigning its type as integer so how i have done that so for that first i have used a library that is numpy inside this there is a module which is named as random and inside this there is a function which is rand now up to where i want to perform up to the total length of my date so up to total length of the date that means it is your date range so i have taken length is up to your date range and i have taken randomly in multiples of 50 now i want to specify its data type so what i have used i have used a function that is s type and inside this i have specified s int now we are having date range we are having cells data now what is our next goal so our next goal is to create a data frame so how can we create a data frame again we have to use is a pandas library so for that i am having a reference variable that is pd and i am creating my own data frame that is data frame function inside this first i am specifying my cells then i want to create a new column that is of type cells so i have specified over here as columns equal to cells and i want to give index as my date range that means my index will be now not starting from zero it will be from our start date and it will end up to our end date so what we have done we have specified date range we have created cells we have created data frame now what i am doing i want to plot some data of a particular date range so what i am doing i am using loc function so how it will work so i want to plot from particular interval that is start interval to end interval so let us randomly specify that i want to print a data that is from september of 17 2019 up to 17th october 2020 so i want to plot that particular data so now whenever we want to plot we also have to specify different parameters now one thing i have specified over here is y limit that is y limit the limit of y is in between 0 to 50 now i am specifying the x label that is cells of our uh, selling date then i have specified y label that is values that have been sold and i am giving the title as plotting time now let us plot our time on a particular axis so how we can do so we have to use show method which is present inside this matplotlib library so let us run this now if you see over here you can see that it has printed the cells of that particular data from starting from which date from september 17 2020 up to october 17 2020 so these are your particular cells value and here we have specified that is lower limit as 0 and upper limit as 50 with the help of a function that is y limit now next we are trying to see is how we can plot trend over a time so again for that first we have to import our required libraries so what are the required libraries so first we have to import numpy then we have to use pandas then we have to use matplotlib and as we are working with time so we have to import a module that is date time and i am using a line magic function that is matplotlib so let us run this now let us consider the previous example only now let me change some of the dates that means let us change the start date let us change the end date so here now what i am doing first i am specifying my start date so how can we work with it so again dt that is date time module provides us a function that is date time and here i am specifying year then month and the date now this particular date will be treated as my starting date now again i want to specify my end date so again i have to use date time module 
and I am using a variable that is end underscore date and inside this I have specified the ending date that is 2018 of month that is 8th and the date is 7. Now I want to create a date range. So again what we have to do we are having a function that is date underscore range and here we have to specify the starting and ending range. So starting range is stored in variable that is start underscore date and the ending range is stored inside a variable that is end underscore date and the entire range I have stored inside a variable which is named as date underscore range. Now similarly I am creating cells data so again I am using a random module of numpy library and there is a function rand inside this I am creating some of the random values and I am assigning its data type as integer with the help of a function that is s type and here I have specified as integer. Now we are having date range and we are having sales data. So our next target is to create a data frame. So how we have created a data frame? So using a function that is named as data frame of the library that is pandas. So the first parameter will be our sales. Now I don't want index of a particular value that is I don't want it to start from zero but index I want to start with a date value so I am giving it as a value as date range and I am specifying a column name as cells now whenever you want to represent a time over a particular axis or you want to show the trend so if you recall we have to use a function which is named as polyfit so again I am using a polyfit function so this polyfit function is present inside your numpy library so np.polyfit inside this we have to specify the range up to where you want to fit your particular data so I am specifying the range from 0 up to the length of my data frame then I am specifying which data frame I want to consider so I want to consider my data frame as df and inside this I want to consider my column as cells and the third parameter I am specifying the value as 1. Now whenever you want to plot so for that you are having a method which is named as poly1d. Now this poly1d is also present inside a module which is named as numpy. So what we have to write over here so we have to write np.poly1d. Now inside this we have to pass our fit variable. So what we have assigned it name. So we have assigned it name as lr underscore coef. So just I am passing it over here. Now what we want to do we want to represent it as a trend. So again I am passing over here is lr underscore function and inside this I am passing range that is from 0 up to the length of my data frame now what I am doing I am storing this trend inside my data frame so how can we do that so for that we should have our data frame object that is df the name of the feature that you want to store that is trend and I am assigning its value as trend which is stored over here now what I am doing I want to plot a data of a particular range so for that I am using a function that is loc and I have specified the start range as July 30th of 2018 up to August 5th of 2018 and using plot function to plot that particular data. I am specifying X label as the sales date, Y label as the values of selling. I am specifying the title of our project as plotting time and I am specifying legend as cells comma trend and I am displaying how a particular trend can be shown with the help of show method of matplotlib library. So let us run this. So here you can see is your particular graph. Now if you observe over here you can see this orange line. So this orange line it indicates your trend that means if you observe this trend is decreasing over a period of time this blue line it indicates your cells now how we indicate this particular so for that we have used over here legend so blue color it indicates your cells and this line it indicates that is your trend now why we require this so whenever we want to see in which particular direction direction means whether it is 
increasing our cells or decreasing our cells so for that we have to plot a trend line inside our graph so this is your trend line which indicates your cells over a period of time so what we have seen in this session how we can work with time inside our graph inside our plotting with the help of matplotlib we have seen how we can represent time on axis we have also seen how we can represent trend or we can say that is output line over our graph that's all for today thank you